Tina, and I'm just coming to you to review a book that I recently read. It is called How to Interpret Dreams and Visions by Perry Stone. Um, how to Interpret Dreams and Visions, Understanding God's Warnings and Guidance. Um, I found this book at my library. Um, I went to the library to do some things. I don't have a computer right now, so to do a few things, and I just decided to check out um, some books. And I just found like different books, you know, and then I looked in the, you know, self-help section and then the religion section. And I was just, I just seen, I found a few authors that I recognized. I was like, mm, I wonder if they have any books about dreams because I am a dreamer. So, and I actually did find one. Um, and I was excited. I was like, oh, wow. So this is the book that I will be reviewing. It looks like this. Hopefully you can see it pretty well. Um, this book is a very, very good book. It's excellent. I will give it five stars. Um, it talks about so many different topics and the author, Perry Stone, he goes into great details about different dreams that he had, um, how he was able to understand what the dream meant and, you know, some dreams took longer to understand and to, um, interpret. Um, he talks about dreams with symbols, dreams without symbols, how to um, decode different symbols, um, different um, dreams and visions that him and his family and people around him have, um, you know, they have seen over their lifetime and, you know, to see it come to pass and how God uses dreams and visions to speak to us about warnings, um, about different things, warnings, um, different things that we'll be going through, blessings, and he also talks about, um, you know, the difference between people who are prophets and psychics. He goes into that. Um, he talks about so many different things, and the reason why I like this book is because um, he brings his own um, his own personal experiences inside of it he doesn't just you know list different um symbols or different dream categories and talks about it he talks about his own personal experiences and goes in great detail and he lists different um scriptures and he had different scriptures inside the book like for example um if he talks about one thing in the book you know that's in the bible he lists where he got it from in the bible and sometimes he even writes down the whole entire scripture um, so he has a lot of evidence inside this book with his personal experiences and people that he knows, like his dad, his wife, personal experiences and things from the Bible, um, different dreams in the Bible. And this is also a good way to learn. Reading this book is also a good way to learn about different things in the Bible. I already knew certain things, but I knew, learned even more. And I knew certain things about dreams, but I still was a little puzzled. So this book has brought me so much clarity. Um, so I'm learning to, I'm learning how to better deal with my dreams I have because I am a dreamer. Um, God gives me different dreams. I'm different prophetic dreams. Sorry, you guys. Um, and all dreams that you have are not from God. Some dreams will be just your own self-conscious and some will be of the devil so he tells you how to identify between those dreams and then at the back of the book he gives you different symbols biblical symbols so these are different symbols that are spoken about in the bible that you hear throughout the bible like birds rivers storms bread things like that so when you have a dream, you could if you have one of these symbols, you know that it is um, from God, and you know that it's biblical. And he doesn't add um, different symbols or things that um, we may sometimes we may dream in our dream that we're familiar with nowadays. Like now we have technology so you might have a dream that has a computer and you, you want to know if it's you know a dream from god you know or if you're just having just a regular dream they didn't have computers back in the day they didn't have technology but sometimes you could use your own common sense thinking about 
if you have a dream with like new age things, just think about what um, the thing represents. For instance, a computer is technology and we'll think about what do you use the computer for and most of the time you use the computer to incorporate or to receive information. So you know that if you see a computer or you're in someone's house and you see a computer that you're and you see yourself looking through that computer, you're receiving information about that person. So think about what you see in the screen on that person on that person's computer. Or you might have a dream about, you know, a car or an airplane. They didn't have cars or airplanes, but there but there were different things that they used in the times that are similar to that, you know, they didn't have cars or planes or trains in biblical times, but those are things that you use for transportation. So think about the different ways they were able to use transportation other than animals. They had boats and ships, so you could go back to the Bible and think about how and read about how they used boats and ships. So I'll give you one thing. Transportation is a symbol for ministry. And I'm not going to go into great detail about it, um, but yeah, it's, it means trans, transportation means ministry. So back in those days and the cool times, those were used for transportation and that's ministry. A boat represents ministry and boats, I have, I'll give you a little something. Boats, um, you'll use a boat to sometimes fish. And you fish, you know, to get fish, <laughs> basically. So when you're getting a fish, like you have a fishing rod or a fishing pole, you're able to get one or two fish at one time. If you have a net, you're able to get a lot of fish. Fish represents souls. So just think about if you're in a dream and you're using the rod, you're able to get a few souls, a few fish. If you're using a net, you're able to get a lot of souls. You're and you're symbolically getting a lot of souls, and literally you see you're getting a lot of fish. So that means either if you have, if you're getting a lot of souls, that means that you'll have like a large ministry or you're going to a large ministry. If you have, you know, getting a few fish, that means that you'll be in a, you're going into or you'll be in a small ministry. That doesn't mean that, you know, you'll stay in small ministry. But yeah. Those are things to look out with. I'm not going to go into great detail about everything that he, you know, about everything that he says in the book. You know, this is a book that you should pick up. It's worth it. Um, I didn't buy this book. I got this from my library, but I will be purchasing, pur purchasing this book. It's very great to have in um, my book collection and to go back and to look, to just to read again and to get more things like I could go back and get um, information I need say if I can't exactly remember I can't exactly remember something I could go back to this book and to read about the different things that I need to you know look up basically um, so yeah this is a great book to have I'm going while I have this book I don't have to return it for a while I'm going to be taking notes and nuggets that I learned from this and to write down a few scriptures that I could go back to. Um, I read this book within three days. I could have read it probably in two days. So if you're a fast reader, you can read this book within one day. It's very good. Um, so I give this book, this book five stars. Oh yeah, he also talks about double dreaming. So if you have a dream that's similar back to back, like you have one dream about you eating food, then the next dream, <laughs> That you have and you wake up and then you have another dream similar to that that is a double dream and there's a meaning behind that he talks about why he also have things about why you have dreams about people that were in your life or your loved ones that are deceased and different things like that he talks about so much i'm just if you see me look down it just means that i'm looking through the context You, oh, another good thing, you know, if you have dreams that are like bad, 
when you feel guilty when you wake up, like maybe with sexual dreams, you, you talk about why you have those types of dreams and what they mean. Um, talks about angels. He talks about different warnings um, and different and these different types of visions. It's, he talks about the different empires in the Bible and how different um, animals represent those empires and the different beasts in Revelation. All this good stuff he talks about. So if you're a dreamer and you're having trouble um, understanding your dreams, or even if you understand dreams and you want a good read, get this book. If you have family, this is a good book to share with your family, like if you're a parent. He had different children. You could share this book with them and read some stuff. If they're not able to read yet or they don't understand, you could read it out loud to them and break it down to them. So when they have a dream, they know what to do. First and foremost, when you first have any type of dream, a blessing, especially if the dream seems like a warning, like it feels like a bad dream, it feels like a nightmare, or if it feels like something is about to happen, the first thing you want to do when you wake up from a dream is pray. And you want to write down the dream. So those are my tips. Um, I hope this video was useful. Um, I'm not the biggest talker, but I do have different things that I want to talk about and share with you guys through this channel. Um, as God is just um, doing a big work within me. Um, I'm a hairstylist, but I am a devoted Christian. Um, I have a strong faith within God, Jesus Christ. So. You will be hearing me talk about different um, things that, you know, I'm liking. So this book is one of them. You might see me do a favorites about different things, me incorporating things, you know, with fashion and spiritual things. And you'll see me talk about my testimony soon. You'll, I'm going to make that Ite Nationals video. I might post that next after this. I need to do the final review. There's so many videos that have come to you, you know. So just watch out for them. And I hope you have a blessed day. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.